It's becoming more and more widely accepted that keto diets can be healthy and also nutritionally complete. Meat, fish, eggs, dairy, nuts and vegetables are rich in key nutrients that your body needs on a daily basis. In some cases, however, supplementing with minerals known as electrolytes may be beneficial. This is because when carb intake is extremely low, levels of electrolytes, especially sodium can drop. And if this happens, you may not feel your best. In this video we will discuss the importance of electrolytes on a keto diet and how you can replenish them. You can find the links for everything that we mention in this video, in the description box below. We make videos on topics such as keto, weight loss and nutrition, so if you want to learn more about how you can be healthier and fitter, then like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you are looking for a personalized custom keto diet plan created by experts just for you, then click the link in the description below. Electrolytes are minerals found in the body that are important for just about every function, including heart health, bladder regulation, allowing your muscles to contract properly, energy and brain functioning, and more. When you restrict carbohydrates, your body begins to process electrolytes differently. This is because when insulin levels are low, the kidneys excrete more sodium. Since there is a delicate balance between sodium and other electrolytes in the body, the loss of sodium may disrupt levels of other electrolytes as well. In some cases, this leads to symptoms that are often described as the keto flu. These symptoms are usually temporary and resolve after your body adapts to low carb. Now to the question, do you need mineral supplementation? The decision to take mineral supplements should be based on how you feel and whether or not you experience any symptoms. However, we should point out that you shouldn't rely on supplementation as your main source of minerals and micronutrients when following the keto diet. Any type of supplementation on top of your diet should be a last resort, try and use an array of food choices before turning to supplements. Here are the daily mineral needs for people who follow a keto lifestyle, the best keto-friendly food sources, and supplement recommendations for those who can't meet their needs through diet alone. Number 1. Sodium. Sodium is the most important electrolyte to monitor when you first go on the ketogenic diet. When carb intake is dramatically reduced, blood insulin levels decrease, leading to a loss of salt and sodium in the urine. If sodium isn't replaced, you may experience a variety of symptoms, such as, fatigue, weakness, headaches, difficulty in concentrating and nausea. Most people on a low-carb diet will feel best with 3 to 7 grams of sodium which is 7 to 17 grams of salt, or about 1 to 3 teaspoons per day. However, if you have certain medical conditions such as hypertension, kidney disease, or congestive heart failure, you may need to be more cautious about sodium. To add more sodium to your diet you can add a teaspoon of salt to a liter of water and drink it over the course of the day. Another strategy is to drink broth or bouillon, which contains about 1 gram of sodium per cup. Number 2. Potassium. Potassium is crucial for heartbeat regulation and having normal blood pressure levels. Its deficiency can lead to constipation, irritability, physical weakness, loss in muscle mass and skin problems. Potassium needs vary based on age, sex and life stage. Healthy adults need approximately 2,600 mg for women and 3,400 mg for men per day. Low-carb or ketogenic diets have the potential to cause a decrease in potassium. If you're not getting enough potassium as part of your low-carb diet, there are a number of food options available to increase potassium intake, such as, avocado, spinach, mushrooms, brussels sprouts, broccoli, salmon, artichokes and almonds. If you're very active or don't consume enough potassium-rich food on a regular basis, it might make sense to take supplemental potassium if needed. 
By taking it daily, you can help ensure that your organs including the heart, kidneys, liver, muscles, and nerves are functioning at optimal levels. Number 3. Magnesium. Magnesium is the fourth most abundant mineral in the body, and is needed for more than 250 reactions in the body. It helps with muscle function, hormone regulation, aids in the production of energy and protein, and helps keep bones strong. It's also been shown to help with cramping, food cravings, sleep, and constipation. Magnesium needs vary based on age and life stage. Healthy adults need between 310 mg for females and 420 mg for males. Having an improper balance of magnesium may result in leg cramps, neuromuscular disorders, or cardiac disorders. The majority of common household foods contain only small amounts of magnesium, but many of them are acceptable as part of the ketogenic diet, such as, pumpkin seeds, dark chocolate, almonds, avocado, spinach, Swiss chard, artichokes, and pine nuts. If you are lacking magnesium as part of your diet, there are several supplements on the market that can bring you up to sufficient levels. Taking up to 400 mg of magnesium per day in supplement form is safe for most people with healthy kidneys. Number 4. Calcium. Calcium is the most abundant mineral in your body, and vital to much more than bone health. Things like vascular contraction and vasodilation, which affect the flow of blood throughout the body, will be impacted when you have too little calcium. A prolonged calcium deficiency can lead to a number of health issues, including dental problems, cataracts, and osteoporosis. You can get your daily dose of calcium from low-carb, keto-friendly food sources such as dark leafy greens, broccoli, hard cheese, salmon, and sardines. A well-designed ketogenic diet should include plenty of fluids to replace what you lose as your carbohydrate stores are depleted as well as plenty of electrolytes in the form of foods or supplements. Fluids should include mostly caffeine-free, unsweetened beverages like water, coconut water, herbal tea, plant-based milks and broths. In general, 2 liters of fluid per day is a good starting point. If you're concerned about your electrolyte balance, a supplement may be useful. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, then comment, like and subscribe as we regularly upload videos on keto and weight loss.